Hi guys, how are you doing? It's Lisa. And see, you notice that it's just a tiny squeak in my chair now because my baby fixed it for me yesterday. I hear just a little bit of squeaking, but it's not nearly as much noise as it was making. But um, how are you guys doing today? I am doing well. I am getting ready to, to go out for a little bit. I gotta take my son out. And I just want to come in and say hi and to share some stories with you guys while I'm getting ready. So um, I was watching um, or reading some stories online and it was this one story about this lady. She's, she lives in Texas and um, she's pregnant right now, right? She said she was raped by a pig. Not just any pig, but a 400 pound pig named Pete. She said Pete had been, I guess, basically trying to get next to her for a while. And um, he tried to uh, to rape her over a hundred times, but he never succeeded until, I guess, this particular time. And she was saying that people would ask her, were asking her, well, how did he get your pants down or whatever? And she said, how did she get her, he get your panties down? And she was saying because she wasn't wearing any. So. Okay. She said she had been out um, playing miniature golf. And when she got back home. Pete, Pete got his, I guess. And she said he, he'd been hot for her for, for many years. So anyway, the father. When he found out about it, he said he he killed Pete. Well, he butchered. It said butchered Pete, and then they were eating. They ate the meat from it. He says because she's pregnant, she's gonna need the the meat to. I'm gonna quote you what he said in a minute, but it was crazy. Um, he said that the pig had um, always been honoring. But let me read to you what he said, if I can. Um, The pig has always been honorary, he said. So he butchered him after the rape. Okay, he said, she's eating for two now and needs a lot of extra meat. Okay, um, I, I don't know what to say, so I'm gonna just not say anything. Your mama say you can't say anything nice, and don't say anything, so I'm gonna just be quiet. But anyway, guys, the, the eyeliner that I was just putting on is, is from Hard Candy, and it's called Take Me Out. Take Me Out liner, and it's in the color Soy. It looks like that. Not sure why it's so long and pointy right here, but it is what it is, but this is what it looks like. So it actually looks really, I like the way it went on. It went on really, really smooth and um, in one line, one swipe. I didn't have to do it three, four, five different times. So, um, yeah. But, um, this is just an eyebrow pencil, guys. You know, I don't do too much to my eyebrows. I just kind of fill in at the ends. And that's it. Because I don't have time to be doing all that. But, um, yeah. Another story that I read is this, this. This story is from Beijing, China. So, from what I've been hearing or reading about China the men always want boys when their women get pregnant they always hope that they have boys because i guess boys are supposed to be i don't, I don't know i don't even want to say because i really don't know but 
boys are supposed to be the thing to have in China. So this, this couple had a girl and the father wanted, sorry guys, I don't know what happened, but as I was saying, this couple had a girl and the father wanted a boy. So, um, he decided to have the baby try to get, he decided to get the baby a sex change operation. So he couldn't find anybody that would do it, I guess, in China, around China, because they were saying it was dangerous, whatever, whatever. So, um, he found this guy in Tijuana, this doctor in Tijuana, and let me see his name, it's Dr. Al Alvarez in Tijuana. And it cost $460,000 to have this, this sex change operation. He said, the doctor said that he gave the baby um, testosterone so that it would develop the, you know, manly features or whatever the, I guess the hair and I mean, whatever that men have, that stuff. And um, then he performed a hysterectomy, hysterectomy on the baby and took out all of the, the female parts and did something with the vagina, the clitoris kind of thing to, you know, make it form it into a penis. So the the father was saying that the baby had all kinds of issues like um, pneumonia and stuff like that for a long time and the flu. But um, the baby is two years old now. I suppose it's supposed to be doing better. It says something like the doctor said that because it has the baby has a baby penis, that's the size the penis is going to stay as the baby grows. But later on, the father wants to have the penis, I guess, transplanted a different one or made or something. I don't know what he going to do. He going to get it from somebody. What? But he wanted to have a different one. Planted and planted in the child. I think he said probably around twelve, either twelve or thirteen or something like that. Let me take that baby through all them pain, that pain in it. He gonna already have enough issues as it is. But um, this is what the guy said. Um. I don't, I'm not even going to read that. I'll let you guys read it. It's going to be down below because this is it's crazy. I'll put both stories down below. I understand people. And I'm wondering how how is it legal for them to perform a hysterectomy on a baby? I mean, because... These days, you're in trouble if you hit your child. So, isn't that like a form of abuse? And I guess maybe in China, it's something different. But I don't know if he traveled to Mexico or if the Mexican doctor came there. I don't know, but whatever happened to me, not cool. Not cool at all. But um, guys, the liner I just used was in that little package of 12 that I got from eBay. It's just one of those. And it doesn't have colors, the name of colors. It just shows you the color right there. I use that and I'm getting ready to use this lip gloss. It's called Models Prefer. I don't know the, the color of it. I don't know if it's on there or not because I can't see it. But it looks like it's nothing on there. So this is what it looks like. Oh, see, I like lip glosses with the brush. So this is a brush. That's pretty. It feels good, too. That feels really nice. Not too much color. It's like a, a wine color. I like it. So, guys, I'm getting ready to, to get out of here. So I just wanted to share those stories with you. Like I said, I'll place them down below so you can read the foolery that's going on in this world. And um, also, I'm going to be putting one of these in the giveaway for July box. And also one of these. Now the color that I had, that I used, was a little bit 
I guess it's a little bit darker. I don't know where it went. It's in there somewhere, but it's a little bit darker. This one is more red. I guess it looks more like the lip gloss. So these two. And also, one of the eye pencils are going to go in there. Now, this particular pencil is in purple. It's a purple color. Um, but my eyeliner, of course, is black. And um, this one is called Lux. And it's also hard candy. Take, take me out liner. So, these three things are going in there. And that's pretty much that. So, guys... Thank you for watching. Thank you for thank you for thank you. <laughs> thank you for listening. I will talk to you guys later on the next video. So take care, be good. Try to be good. But if you can't be good, be good at it. Doing.